MSU has it. Oh, wow, pass to Alberto Ward. He gets two more. He really had an outstanding freshman year. He averaged almost 14 points a game as a freshman. Nick Ward just gets better every single game. That's when people started to think, we may have a diamond in the rough. So going into the 2017-2018 season, we were so excited for Nick. We were excited for our Michigan State family. So um, things started to turn a little bit um, when my wife started to get ill. I began to feel pain in my stomach and in my back area. Um, didn't know what it was. Um, I thought I have to feel better before Midnight Madness because I don't want to get there and not feel good. Got to the Kellogg where we were staying that evening and figured out rather quickly that I wasn't going to be able to attend. She convinced me to go to Midnight Madness because originally I wasn't going to. They announced my name, and I seen that my mom wasn't in the uh, crowd, but she was here. I knew she was here. She wasn't in the crowd, though. During Midnight Madness, I had my phone with me, so I kept calling, and she wouldn't pick up the phone. So that's when we just got our stuff, and we left, and we kind of walked really fast back to the Kellogg, and when we got there, she was curled up kind of in the ball, and, and she was, like, unresponsive. Her eyes was kind of, like, fluttering. I said, I got to take you to the hospital. I developed what's called C. diff. Um, in layman's terms, it's when um, your good bacteria and your bad bacteria, you don't have any more of that in your system. It wipes you completely out. Um, and it causes an actual um, infection in your, in your digestive system. So I'm in a hotel room at five o'clock in the morning, I get this call and Dr. Lindsay says, we have to do surgery immediately. If she don't have the surgery, she's gonna die. They had to take out part of my intestine um, in order to get the infected area out. At that time, I was explaining to Coach Izzo what the situation was. We were trying to talk about how we, go, we was gonna explain it to Nick. And um, I said, well, let's give him the watered down version. I just visited her every day every single day. Cause you know, that's my mom, you know, I love her. Um, and you know, that was, that was tough. You know, Cause I didn't know the severity of everything. That made the season a little tougher than what it needed to be. We went to the hospital October 20th, 2017. And we finally left, it was November 18th. When we drove home, I had to go straight to the hospital here in Columbus. Stephanie's colon was twisted, and that is when they had to do another major surgery. Nicholas started traveling back after I came home for the first time. I had drove down to Columbus a lot more than people know. After practice, I would drive down to Columbus four hours. Let's see my mom, say, how you doing? In the beginning, it was so often that I said, it's dangerous, you, you can't, you're tired, I know you're tired, you can't come that often. I'm at the hospital and I see Nick, and I'm like, Nick. I said, you have to stop. I said, I get it, I get it. You're concerned about mom, we all are. It affected my basketball. I couldn't think straight most of the time. I was very irritable, extremely irritable. That right there made the season harder than what it had to be. The Rutgers game was probably my lowest point, mentally and physically. Cause I was like, basically F everything, I don't care. When he got taken out, it was his body language. That's when you can really see the weight of everything kind of coming together. And you just see it in his body language. Like it was one of those, I wish I was there moments. After the Rutgers game, I seen this guy tweet something about my mom. And you know, I was, <laughs> I was typing, I was typing in the locker room. Um, it's a uh, meet me at this place, uh, I don't, you don't say nothing to my mom. I always tell him to stay off Twitter. Because Twitter can be good and Twitter can be bad. So right before I pressed send, I stopped. 
I stopped. I, I threw my phone against the locker, and I went to the bathroom and cried. After that game, I remember talking to him in the locker room for a little bit. There was a lot learned, and he had a better understanding of me. And maybe I learned to get a better understanding of him. That year changed Nick's mindset. This year, he's changed so much mentally. It is like night and day. You ready, babe? Ready. ready. Let's go. I am completely 100% healthy. Just seeing how healthy she is now is a blessing. You know, I've lived in Clements all my life. It's important for Nick to play well. He took a lot of ribbing when he chose Michigan State over Ohio State. I beat them before, but I haven't beat them on our court. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Him and Caleb Wesson has had a battle since middle school. It's always a challenge when you're playing against people you played against growing up. You gotta work! Gotta work! Nick, work! Down low to Ward, who got right around Caleb Wesson. Two more for Nick Ward. There's a process to being successful. Maybe all he went through last year. The Rutgers game was a coming out party. Down low to Ward gets around everybody, puts it up, and it's in. And now, hopefully, we're going to reap some of the benefits because he's having a hell of a junior year. MSU will break a two-game losing streak in Columbus. Yes, sir! Oh, my God! <laughs> Guys, you learned something about yourselves. You finished, finished the game. We weren't great, but everybody took a challenge. The execution was better. Nick, I'm proud of both you and Kyle, the Boy, job you did, you know, how you did it. Hey, no, no. Big brother. How many free throws did he make? 11 and 12. 11 and 12. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Good work, baby. I'm so proud of you.